this is an old dry cell that I, I had laying around and I uh, figured I'd revive it a bit so I performed some tweaks on it um, it's just may have you know the old school stainless steel light switch plates uh, so we have some pretty thick gaskets on there I think those are like quarter inch or three sixteenths uh, neoprene uh, I think it's about 11 of them in there but I replaced the uh, top uh, foam catcher as I like to call it I don't use reservoirs um, on this one I didn't use a reservoir uh, because I was having problems uh, with shorting out it, the efficiencies were terrible with the um, with this much of a gap uh, between plates with the reservoir design so I mean we I eliminated that so we don't have the circulating fluid but we, I get great efficiency out of this little guy uh, it works pretty good you got half uh, uh, what do you call it? half inch acrylic sides and uh, this has about five hours of continuous runtime on it just to test it out pulls about let's say I think it pulls about two and a half amps uh, rock solid doesn't heat up and uh, I was having some foaming problems so I developed this bubbler system uh, which consequently <laughs> looks almost exactly like another guy on YouTube and he's flashbacking major flashbacks into this thing so these tubes can handle a hell of a lot of pressure but this bubbler system I designed as just a uh, for you know testing and a workhorse bubbler so you can see it's it's very very tall it won't even fit on camera this stands about with the tubes it stands about two feet tall using a uh, a muffler down here this isn't an air stone all right this is a pneumatic muffler as the just to spread the bubbles out a bit right now you can see um, the usage of this is discoloring this water a bit now I don't know if that's because some electrolyte leaked into this tube or not but nonetheless I am looking for a different um, a different way of diffusing the bubbles down there but uh, this is just a standard bubbler. This one on the left is your bubbler. The one on the right I built as a scrubber because I was getting a lot of foam that was coming out of here and it was just siphoning up the top and it, what happens is it would fill up the bubbler and eventually just foam would be spilling out the top. But if you neutralize the electrolyte in a preliminary scrubber bubbler then uh, it's much more difficult for that foam to circulate through there and we're gonna have some anti-foaming liquid uh, as soon as it gets here but that's about it and um, just wanted to show this video of it before I clean it out and then show it to you working I'm gonna hook it up in a second just a second alright so I reattached the wires I uh, see down here I have a uh, we're running this thing on a 65 volt capacitive power supply you know, like um, the same thing that they they uh, teach you how to build in that Eagle Research booklet. That's what that is. I just put it into a box. So we're running this thing. It it might seem like we're running it way over voltage because there's only 11 plates, but the capacitive power supply actually adjusts the output. So it's not the same as if we had just had a, a flat DC uh, 65 volts. Anyway, let me turn it on. just give it a second because there's a lot of water in there All right, so you see it's going now alright so you see I mean this this cell is putting out a nice little amount of gas it looks like about a liter a minute and the scrubber is functioning well this scrubber is actually filled with vinegar the vinegar neutralizes any stray sodium hydroxide now hopefully in a second you'll see foam coming out of here but I've run this thing uh, for enough hours where it's kind of purged itself of all the foam because the level comes down to a certain level but hopefully you'll see some foam come up out of there 
but you see, it, I mean, it's the the water looks a bit murky. You see the foam starting to come out. All right, now I'm gonna have anti foaming agent to kill this problem. Uh, hopefully that'll work. But you can see the way this works. Right, the gas comes down here and then it goes into the into the vinegar and scrubs and you see the foam hasn't yet reached over the top it's just starting to reach over now it goes down through that tube right I'm trying to keep the camera steady here it goes down through that tube and gets neutralized so that the foam doesn't really come out over here this is this, uh, when I first started running it, this wasn't here. I mean, this is really from the dirt in this, uh, in the bubbler, all right? It's not really from, as a result of the foam coming through here and then through the bottom. I mean, this is just dirty. Once, once we level this off and I drain it and, like, calibrate it, you could say, then, uh, then this shouldn't be a problem and this will stay totally clear. This was totally clear until about the end of the fifth hour that I was running this. So I only stopped running it because the vinegar was getting up to the top of here.